Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing okay. Today I'm going to show you uh, my photography kit. This is what I'm going to be traveling with. For the next few months, I'm going on a little bit of a holiday with my girlfriend. I've decided to kind of make it a little bit of a photo project. So my aim for the trip is to try and capture um, pictures that I can use in my artwork for my music labels. And they are typically along the lines of minimal artwork as well as anything that is kind of I guess futuristic cityscapes so if you just kind of imagine Blade Runner. So the new Blade Runner movie was a film that I absolutely loved watching this year and I'm drawing influence from that film. So I'm going to Hong Kong which is pretty much the most Blade Runner city that you can get. I've been there once before, I've only been there for four days. I absolutely loved it and I'm going to be going there for eight days to start off with and then we're going to Thailand and then we're going to Singapore as well. All the cities that we're going to they're quite futuristic, kind of got that Blade Runner vibe going on. I wanted to just try and capture it in as much fun as, as I could really. So as you can see I've got quite a lot of camera stuff. This is stuff that I've kind of accumulated over the years. Obviously this big old beast is a RZ67. This is a medium format camera and this is kind of the this is the thing that I'm looking forward to shooting the most when I'm out there. Uh, I did have the 180 mil lens and I sold it and I'm luckily it come literally two days ago and I'm leaving on Monday so I was really apprehensive whether it was going to come in time or not because otherwise I, I didn't have a lens for it but this is the 110 this is the 2.8 and I've heard a lot of good things about this lens so I'm really excited to shoot with it it's a lot smaller than the 180 and I've really wanted to try and condense my travel kit down as much as possible this thing you know it weighs a lot it is a lot of a camera to be carrying around with you. I've also got a second back as well, so I can use uh, different films. I don't have to use up the film before I switch it over, which is something that I did come across when I was shooting in, when I was in Rome actually. I kind of wanted to shoot sometimes in black and white and sometimes I wanted to shoot um, with my usual color film. And it was annoying because I would have to go through the, you know, the, the 10 shots and then replace the film. So for this holiday, I've made sure that I've bought another film Film back so I'll have one for black and white and one for color as you can see I've I've spent a lot on rolls of film as well we've got some Ilford Delta 100 uh, I've got some uh, Portra 400 and also what I like is the Ektar 100 so obviously uh, black and white and I've got two different color versions here so I've got I'm, I'm not sure how many rolls of film I've got I've probably got about 15 rolls of 120 which should be enough. I can't imagine using it up very quickly, to be honest with you. I do shoot very carefully. So what else have we got? Well, obviously, if you're shooting medium format manual, you're gonna need a light meter. So I've just got kind of a very basic um, light meter. This is the um, Sekonic and this is the L308. So this is pretty much like the entry level light meter from Sekonic, but it does the job. It does, it does a pretty good job. Now I'm also going to be taking uh, the digital camera, which is what I'm filming on now. So I did have the GH4 and I sold that and I'm now using the G80 or the G85 as it's known in the US as well. I really, really like this digital camera. It's really good actually for vlogging uh, because it is autofocus and it's eye tracking is actually a lot better than the GH4. Uh, one problem is that it, it doesn't do higher frame rates which is a bit annoying, but to be honest with you, I never use the higher frame rates. I could maybe see when I'm doing a little bit more filming in different countries, um, doing the slow motion kind of effect when you're walking through streets and when you're capturing things like that, it's quite a nice touch. But my GH4 was getting on a bit. It, the sensor had a few dust marks on it that I could not get rid of. So I just wanted something new and clean and a little bit more updated. The, um, the, the image stabilization on this G80 is really, really good. And in comparison to the GH4, which had nothing, it is a million times better if you're doing handheld stuff, which I'm going to because, you know, I, it's just how I shoot. I, I don't really like to kind of set up a tripod and, and film stuff obviously I can't be taking sliders dollies and gimbals and stuff like that because I'm just trying to keep it as cheap as possible and trying to keep it as small as possible I've got to fit all this into just one backpack I'm going to be carrying around with me during the days other things that we've got um, I've got the 12 to 60 lens on the G80 and I've also got uh, just something for low light this is the, um, the Sumilux this is the Panasonic 
25 mil f1.4 so that's obviously what i'm going to be using mostly uh, for digital for night time and then i've got a old olympus om2n camera so this is going to be like my walk around film lens i will use this in special circumstances when i'm when i see a really really nice shot but just general stuff will be with this this has just got a 50 mil prime the uh, 1.8 which is actually a really really nice lens i've gotten some really nice photographs from this i'm packing extra batteries for this this time i took this camera to annecy in france and the battery ran out of it and i didn't have any spare so i couldn't actually use it so it's really annoying so i'm making sure i'm taking spare batteries with this with the om2n i'm going to be shooting on a few rolls of 35 mil i've got a few more but i think most of them are black and white i think this one's black and white and i think the rest are actually colored i've got a variation there so we'll be able to try them all out now i am taking a tripod obviously it's going to be really really handy when i'm probably using it with this thing this is this is a pretty decent uh, tripod it's carbon fiber and it's pretty nice and light and it's actually really nice and small and what I do like about it is that this leg actually detaches and then you can actually use just this as a like a monopod. So that's really, really handy actually. And I think with the GAT stabilization, I think just using a monopod, just something to give me a little bit of extra stability. I think it should be enough for doing a lot of my uh, filming with the GAT. Now, unfortunately I don't have a carbon fiber head because they are really expensive. So I'm using a um, Manfrotto head. This is the uh, 498 and this is heavy. This is almost, probably the same weight as this tripod which is a bit annoying really but these things are expensive if you want carbon fiber so I'm just going to go with that the only other extra thing that I'm taking with me is the filters now I've got a ND filter coming because um, that's going to be really important when I'm doing filming with the, di uh, the digital camera and I've also got polarizing filter here which is 77 thread size which is good because it fits onto my um, my 110 filter and then what I'm going to do is I've got a uh, step down ring here which you can see there these are lifesavers and they will save you a lot of money because you can attach your 77 mil onto this and then you can attach this onto these smaller thread sizes so really you just need to buy a, a filter for your biggest size thread on whatever lens you've got and then you just buy the step down rings so they're like two three pound the step the step down rings or step up rings as they're also called so that will save you a lot of money and also a lot of space and not having to carry around really expensive filters so that is it that is my photo kit that's what i'm going to be taking with me please do let me know if you've taken any you know what what kits you take with you when you're going on uh, trips and if you feel that I'm missing something out now I've only got a few days until I actually leave but I'm pretty sure I can pick up almost anything in Hong Kong so yeah if you feel that there's something I'm missing let me know something you feel is going to kind of enhance my photographic trip it'd be really nice to know any tips you've got for shooting on film I've done a little bit of shooting on film but not that much especially not in medium format so it's going to be you know a nice learning experience also any tips that you have on places that remind you of a futuristic city so anything that kind of reminds you of being in Blade Runner I would really appreciate if you could let me know because I'd love to photograph it stay tuned because I'm going to be using this YouTube channel as kind of a little travel vlog and just going to be showing you some of my favorite things uh, during my two-month trip thank you to all of the subscribers I think I've got about 150 now, which is much more than what I ever anticipated. Hopefully we can keep on growing this channel and we can all learn stuff along the way. But that is it for now. So have a nice day.